If you saw this, what would you expect next? A stall? No, actually we're going to put the airplane into a 30 degree bank, all a part of learning slow flight. The last time you spent any time in extended slow flight was probably during your flight training, and it likely took a while for you to get it right. Whether you realize it or not, the airplane passes through slow flight every time you take off and every time you land, which makes it an important skill to master. While it may seem obvious, going slow is not the same as going fast. When the airplane is moving slowly, you need to react quickly. Spending some time practicing slow flight will sharpen your skills and enable you to maneuver your airplane with confidence, not only while flying slowly, but also during cruise flight. So let's go back to basics and relearn slow flight. All right, so let's get nice and stable 4000. I'll give you the controls. Your aircraft. Okay, so um, I guess I'm going to check my height so we're good right here. Area. Look below us. Good. Uh, security, so doors are locked, no. seatbelts. Okay. Uh, engine. No. So Good. Right here, we have RP. Let's check for carb ice, yeah. Let's pull it out. Yep. Good, so there's no rough engine running, so we can push the carb heat back in. Okay, and then a lookout. Always looking in the direction of the turn. Okay, so I should bring it down, back down to 4,000. Yeah, so it's nice, nice and stable at 4,000 feet. Alright, so we're going to start by bringing the, air, the uh, RPM back to about 1900, just slowly bring it down and just hold the nose up from dropping. Remember, once the control pressures get too much on the yoke, just trim them away. Okay. Okay, now we can go down to about 1700. Good, because we're in a fixed pitch propeller, it's just going to slow the RPM down as we slow down. Okay, so we're pitching for airspeed and power for altitude. Looking outside, glancing inside every now and then, but mostly outside. Okay, there we are. And let's add a little bit of power to hold 4,000 feet. Pitch the nose down just a bit for airspeed. And a little bit more power to hold the altitude. Recognizing when your aircraft is in slow flight is a fundamental ability. It's your first defense against a stall. In slow flight, you will have a slow airspeed reduced control effectiveness, and you will probably hear the stall horn if your aircraft has one. To maintain level slow flight, as you see here, a nose high attitude and a high power setting are required. All right, so how's your coordination right now? Right rudder. Yeah, definitely right rudder. When we're into slow flight, if your foot isn't tired after a while, you're not using enough rudder, generally okay. speaking, okay? Remember, the reduced airflow over the control surfaces means that the controls are much less effective and they will need to be moved a greater amount to achieve the same results as you would see in cruise flight. Hold a steady attitude. If you hold a steady attitude, your airspeed will stay steady. Okay. Okay. So, hazel check is complete. So we're going to start to slow it down again. So, yep. I put my car in. Good. good. Well, let's get established at about 60, just like what we did last time. 4,000 feet. Watch, you're gaining in the entry here. Good. Pitch for airspeed, throttle for altitude. Add some power in to hold your altitude. Watch that the nose doesn't come up higher when you add the power. And we're going to need some more right rudder to hold coordination. Remember those left turning tendencies. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's add 10 degrees of flaps. Remember the nose is going to come up. Let's maintain 60. Right, so you need to lower the nose a little bit in order to maintain your altitude. So the addition of flaps gives us a little bit more forward visibility, which is good. Uh, right, like I have more of a exactly. horizon. And now we can actually fly a little bit slower because we've increased the lift by adding flaps. All right, let's go to 20 flaps. Remember, the nose is going to want to come up. Go right to 20. Okay, pitch forward, lower angle of attack. There we go, we almost stalled. So remember that as those flaps come in, we need to push down a bit and not let the nose come up. Let's maintain 55 miles an hour now at 20 degrees of flaps. 
Okay, and let's go ahead and recover. Full power, carb heat cold. Pitch the nose down a bit. Just a little bit, push. Find As him. the airspeed comes up, we're gonna raise to 10 degrees of flaps now, above 60 miles. Okay, that's fine. And now we can go to zero flaps. Try and maintain 4,000 feet, good job. Okay. Once we're past 100 miles an hour, we are up to speed and you can pull the throttle back to 2300. Going back to the basics of flying is one of the best ways to stay proficient. And take along another pilot for the ride. You will probably both learn something along the way.